onlookers since the Middle East's medieval era. As we learn more about Betelgeuse's mysterious actions, the story takes yet another turn. In 2019, the star Betelgeuse took astronomers by surprise when it abruptly lost brightness. Scientists believed that our view of the star was obscured by a massive cloud of dust that had been ejected from its surface. It's still unknown where the cloud originated, however. Some scientists speculate that a planet or other massive object may have crashed into the star or otherwise damaged its surface. Betelgeuse has gotten over 50% brighter in recent months compared to its typical brightness. This is surprising since stars typically become dimmer with age. What suddenly caused this spike in brightness is unknown to scientists. They are aware, nonetheless, that a number of factors may alter a star's brightness. Certain stars, for instance, alternate between brilliant and faint phases. Because of its fluctuating brilliance, the star Mira is referred to as the Star of Wonder. Its frequent expansions and contractions alter the quantity of light it produces. This is a regular occurrence for roughly 30 additional stars that are visible without a telescope in the night sky in addition to Algal. Somewhere in the center of Betelgeuse, something was moving violently. An incredible amount of dust was released into space, causing burning material to be ejected. A large percentage of Betelgeuse's bright light was hidden by this cosmic dust shroud, turning it from a bright star in the night sky to a muted one. The very low brightness of Betelgeuse dropped. It has dropped from being ranked in the top 10 to below the 20th brightest. Betelgeuse has been acting contrary to all expectations and the standards of exemplary conduct in recent months. This captivating celestial dance has captured the attention of scientists and astronomers all around the world. There are several theories that try to explain the mystery of Betelgeuse's unusual actions. Some think that its sharp variations are caused by huge sunspots or dust clouds, while others wonder whether there may be cycles that coincide. Their findings provide credence to the amazing theory that Betelgeuse's supernova explosion has already taken place. Indeed. Yes, you heard correctly. Its supernova outburst was predicted by conservative predictions to occur hundreds of thousands of years from now. However, the available data now points to a different conclusion. Kepler's supernova, the last known supernova in our galaxy, was visible in the sky eons ago. Based on a model they developed, the researchers hypothesized that Betelgeuse is nearing a spectacular explosion because it is in the latter stages of consuming carbon. This makes it a serious candidate for our Milky Way galaxy's next predicted supernova outburst. Much like the coda to the Cosmic Symphony, Betelgeuse is a serious candidate to be the next star explosion in our dear Milky Way galaxy. But deciphering Betelgeuse is like trying to piece together a jigsaw with contradicting evidence. Signs of material ejections and subsequent recovery are seen, pointing in the direction of a major ejection event, but one that is not as large as our sun. Here's the twist, however. Supernovae also exist as genuine occurrences. In 1987, we saw one in a Milky Way satellite galaxy. Thus, even if our predictions on the exact date of Betelgeuse's explosion may not be accurate, it's still too early to schedule a trip around it. The problem is that it's hard to watch Betelgeuse these days. For centuries, researchers have been examining Betelgeuse, and they discovered that its brightness has varied throughout time. This implies that the star is becoming older and may soon go supernova. Still, there isn't enough data to predict with certainty when this will occur, and very brilliant explosion that results from a star dying is called a supernova. It is safe to see with the unaided eye from Earth and poses no threat to life as we know it. The size of the star that bursts determines how luminous a supernova will be. Given Betelgeuse's size, a supernova would have a high luminosity. It would be visible throughout the day and roughly as bright as a half moon. Astronomers would also be challenged by a supernova's brilliance. Seeing other stars and planets would be difficult due to the supernova's intense brightness. Astronomers would find it challenging to observe the night sky as a result. One theory is that Betelgeuse once ingested a big object, perhaps another star. 
This may have expedited the star's development and increased the likelihood of a supernova. A novel discovery on Betelgeuse's brightness cycles has been made in a recent study. The longest period, 2200 days, was determined to be the most likely primary cycle for Betelgeuse's pulsations. Should this be the case, future variations in the star's brightness may be substantial. More study is required to validate this idea, which is currently just that, a hypothesis. But it's an intriguing discovery that could provide us a greater understanding of Betelgeuse's past, present, and future. All in all, there would be mixed benefits from a supernova's brightness. While it would be a challenge to both astronomers and animals, it would also be a stunning and thrilling spectacle to observe. Not only does Betelgeuse have the potential to become supernova, but it also offers a special chance that makes it an astronomical treasure. Thanks to its enormous size and close vicinity, this massive star allows us to capture its essence in amazing detail. Through the lens of our telescopes, Betelgeuse presents itself as a dazzling disk, unlike far-off sparkling spots of light. It beckons us to see its changes in brightness, to catch the delicate dance of its light as it plays tricks on us with its dark secrets. This is where it becomes even more interesting, however. The supernova spectacle will take time to disappear. No, it will spend many years lingering in our night sky, progressively disappearing, like to a distant star. However, there could be brief resurgences, a flash of fresh brightness before its light gradually fades as it bids the constellation Orion good night. Although the supernova is not dangerous to humans, it could confuse certain animals that rely on the moon's soft light for navigation. They could get disoriented and notice a minor alteration in their nighttime travels due to the extra cosmic light. However, the effects will extend beyond the realm of animals. Studying our cosmos will provide new difficulties for astronomers and stargazers alike. It may be difficult to see the night sky while the moon is out, and a bright supernova will make it more difficult. However, the fascination of this astronomical event will attract the interest of several telescopes and scientists who will excitedly modify their observations to fully capture the majesty of Betelgeuse's last deed. As scientists and stargazers prepare for the spectacular exhibition of Betelgeuse's supernova, the excitement is tangible. The cosmos is holding its breath in anticipation of this great occurrence, and the scene is set. What can we anticipate, however, when this massive star releases its cataclysmic power? Let's allay any worries first and foremost. Being far enough away from Betelgeuse, Earth is secure from danger. The supernova won't be able to outshine the powerful sun or moon, even though it will definitely catch our attention. Still, for a whole year it will shine its phantom light, brightening our evenings and drawing attention to itself throughout the day. Imagine the captivating sight of Betelgeuse's glowing remains softly shrouding our planet in darkness. However, this celestial show is more than a passing occurrence. Alas, the performance will take place across a number of years. The supernova will first stun us with its brightness before progressively disappearing into the darkness. There could be times when its brightness flares again, returning for a little while to its previous splendor. But eventually, the well-known star in the Orion constellation will disappear, leaving us with only fond recollections of its dazzling brightness. Researchers have discovered a resemblance between the brightness cycles of Betelgeuse and those of dying stars. This implies that Betelgeuse may shortly become supernova. In the event that Betelgeuse explodes, it will be the closest supernova to Earth in hundreds of years, visible to the unaided eye and an extremely brilliant event. It's crucial to remember that this is still just a theory. It will need further investigation to determine if Betelgeuse will become supernova. It is not expected to pose a threat to Earth. Given the star's distance from us, about 550 light years, the explosion would not be as strong as one occurring closer to Earth. A neutrino explosion would be the first thing we would notice. 
We wouldn't be harmed by these small particles since they don't interact with stuff. We would see a very brilliant object in the night sky after the neutrino blast. It would be possible to see the explosion during the day, and it would be as brilliant as the full moon. After a few weeks of brilliance, the thing would gradually disappear. A large amount of gas and dust would also be released into space by the explosion. In addition to partially obstructing some of the light from other stars, this dust and gas may also temporarily alter the environment. The consequences would be minimal, however. Although there won't be any immediate risk from this celestial occurrence, certain species that depend on moonlight for navigation could find it confusing. Amidst this magnificent cosmic spectacle, astronomers encounter a unique set of difficulties. It is already a risky business to observe the night sky, especially when the moon is brilliant. And very brilliant supernova adds even more complexity, but the desire to photograph this celestial show is too great to resist. Telescope adjustments will be made by scientists, tweak their instruments and take advantage of every chance to see and capture the changing splendor of Betelgeuse's supernova, though its intense brightness may prevent the James Webb Space Telescope from directly seeing Betelgeuse. Worry not. An extensive network of observatories, both on Earth and in orbit, is excitedly awaiting this historic occasion. Equipped with an array of state-of-the-art tools and methods, they are ready to solve the secrets buried in the heavenly fireworks. They combine as a worldwide alliance, driven by a shared zeal for discovering the mysteries of the cosmos. But even in the middle of this cosmic show, Betelgeuse had more shocks in store. Its brilliance began to steady in mid-February 2020 and stayed that way for more than 10 days. Five days later, just when we believed the star's dimming episode was coming to an end, it completely stopped, confusing scientists and piquing their curiosity with its erratic behavior. We were gripped from start to finish by this mysterious turn in the cosmic story. In the midst of scientists' search for explanations, a research done on February 24, 2020, provided some insight into the reasons of the mysterious fading of Betelgeuse. It was discovered that the star's apparent dimming was probably caused by huge grains of circumstellar dust obscuring the star's light. The star's radiance is obscured by this dust, which functions as a cosmic curtain and heightens the mystery surrounding its celestial performance. The study disproved the theory that dust absorption greatly affects the dimming phenomena by using sophisticated measurements at sub-millimeter wavelengths. Rather, it suggested that Betelgeuse's fading may be caused by huge star spots. These huge, tumultuous areas on the star's surface, like giant sunspots, added an exciting dimension to the cosmic drama that was developing. The scientific community's long-brewing hypotheses moved one step closer to reality. More evidence supported the theory that Betelgeuse's photosphere had a chilly spot, an elusive abnormality. Into a symphony of scientific discussion, the original theories became more robust and coherent. It was thought that the dust originated from the star itself, when the gas emissions from the star cooled and gathered into little particles that created a fleeting work of beauty in the sky. Thanks to technology breakthroughs, scientists have made significant strides in understanding the cosmos. The Hubble Space Telescope facilitated the study of enigmatic celestial bodies, whereas the James Webb Space Telescope transformed our comprehension of black holes and the eventual demise of stars. Their eyes broke through the haze of 2022 to behold a magnificent show, a breathtaking surface mass ejection. Betelgeuse let forth a stream of content as if shedding its radiant skin, like to a celestial phoenix emerging from the abyss. This ejected stuff, which cooled and condensed across enormous distances, giving rise to the transient dust that obscured the star's brilliance from our planet's observatories at this time. Betelgeuse's decline has finally stopped, enabling the star to take its rightful place as one of the night sky's brightest stars. Despite being so far away, its brightness, which is 100,000 times brighter than our sun, testifies to its celestial magnificence. 
However, such genius comes with a cost, a transient life brought on by the quick use of energy. Fuel exhaustion is Betelgeuse's eventual end, an incredible supernova that collapsed under its massive weight and erupted in a devastating explosion. Betelgeuse will shine with a brightness that will only be surpassed by a full moon for a little while. Its splendor will capture the hearts and imaginations of onlookers worldwide, both during the day and at night. In addition, a supernova explosion might happen when Betelgeuse nears the conclusion of its life cycle. Betelgeuse shows two cycles of fading and brightening. The second cycle lasts around 100 days and occurs every five years. However, the exact timing of this celestial extravaganza is still hotly contested. The star's diameter and average temperature change as a result of the expansion and contraction of its outer shell throughout this cycle. The stars of Orion's belt are included in the Orion OB1 Association, from which Betelgeuse was banished from its native location. At this moment, it is being seen traveling at an astounding 30 kilometers per second across the interstellar space. Over four light years of bow shock are produced by this fast speed. Astronomers have a difficulty in pinpointing the exact distance to red supergiant stars such as Betelgeuse. For a variety of reasons, it has been challenging to determine the star's true diameter. Betelgeuse is a pulsing star that changes in diameter over time. It is also difficult to identify a clear boundary for the star since its optical emissions fade and change hue as they go out from the center. Determining the exact nature of Betelgeuse's photosphere is made more difficult by the existence of the circumstellar envelope, which is made up of material that has been evacuated and absorbs light. These fascinating discoveries provide insight into how red stars age and lose mass, which eventually causes them to explode into supernovae when their nuclear fusion fuel runs out. Betelgeuse's peculiar conduct doesn't necessarily portend notoriety very soon. Not every large-scale mass loss event portends an explosion. According to experts, there has never previously been evidence of a significant surface ejection from a huge star. And with the use of the Hubble and Webb telescopes, we have the amazing chance to see and investigate this event up close. Betelgeuse is no longer fading, maybe taking back its ranking as the tenth brightest star in the sky. It shines 100,000 times brighter than the sun, even though it is far away. But the enormous energy requirements speed up its final end when it runs out of fuel and collapses, resulting in a spectacular supernova explosion. Betelgeuse will brighten the sky for a few weeks or months, almost as brilliant as a full moon. The Betelgeuse supernova will occur almost ten times further away than the distance necessary for a supernova to be lethal to humans, hence Earth is safe from any danger even if the date is still unknown. However, the exact date of this event is still unknown. It may occur during our lifetime or in a million years and not even the most knowledgeable astronomers have been able to pinpoint the precise time that this event is likely to occur. We appreciate you seeing this week's Voyager episode. Make sure to click the video on your screen for additional high-quality material while you are still here, while you are still here, while you are still here.